Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, let's do another outdoor video. If you hear any noise, please forgive me. I'm actually at Arendelle Station Park. I can't really help that. And I really want to film in front of this tree here. So in the sunlight, is is beating down on me. All right, but today we're gonna be talking about Givenchy Gentlemen only. Now this was actually launched in 2013 and this is going to be a bit of a re-review. So the vi video that I did back in 2014, 2015, it's a bit of a review but it's actually like a spoof of a friend Rio Cappuccino who is no longer in the community. So 2013 launch, class as a woody fragrance. Now the note breakdown for this one here, top notes are going to be pink pepper, green mandarin, birch leaf, nutmeg and bergamot with the mid being vetiver, cedar, patchouli, violet leaf and elemi and the base is going to be incense and musk. So what do I get from this one here? Now, I've been wearing this one all week long. Now, this opens up with citruses, whether it's mandarin or bergamot, who really knows, but definitely citruses with that pink pepper. The pink pepper does add a little bit of warmth and it kind of energizes the scent. But you're also gonna get that birch along with other woods right away. So the classification is spot on, right? It's very woody, pretty much from top to bottom. That citrus does maintain for a little bit longer. The spices do stay, but you are gonna get a little bit more of a, the nutmeg does come in a little bit more. You are gonna get a bit of an aromatic feel from the violet leaf. You know what? And then towards the base, it's like a musky woodiness with a little bit of a smoky incense. On my skin, it's not overly incensey or smoky. I thought it would be, but it's not. Even back then, and I haven't seen that video in years because it's cringe and, well, my shit is cringe to begin with, right? But that video was just extra. But it opens up quite classy, mature, gentlemanly, just like the name itself gentlemen only this scent is yes indeed for the gentleman but i definitely do think that a bad boy can pull this one off white t-shirt and a leather jacket no problemo just because of that woodiness the spicy nuance and a little bit of a smoky incense towards the base it's one of their more masculine fragrances this one, I believe, is discontinued because it's gentle men with a M-E-N at the end, not gentle man, M-A-N. The M-A-N all around the bottle is that line. The gentle men with like plural is just like a little sticker. This, I believe, was discontinued for a little while on the online discounters, but it's back. That's the reason why I'm doing it. And it's still surprisingly selling at the Hudson's Bay. Now, I, I don't know if this very fragrance has been discontinued, but the lineup has. They're, they're no longer producing any more plural name fragrances. This is a great spring, and I do think fall fragrance, and I do think that you can wear it in the summertime. Now, when it's like quite warm like it is today like i'm sweating right now it's only like 21 degrees it's a little humid but as the day progresses it's going to get a lot warmer it's going to get like 30 degrees celsius that's like late 80s early 90s fahrenheit for all my americans out there it's a great signature scent very versatile you know dressing it down again white t-shirt leather jacket all the way to a suit and tie and to a tuxedo event as well. Perfect for work. I do think it does come across as a little bit more mature. So I'm thinking someone who is 30 and up would appreciate this one a lot more than someone who's in their early 20s. When I smell this one, I just think of a gentleman with a little bit of life experience under his belt. You know, who's been, who's, who's had his ass kicked by life and has just persevered and moved on. If you're a father, this is a great dad fragrance as well, as it just comes across as a little bit older, all right? Longevity, this is where it kind of falters. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer. It's not bad, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit more. Five to six hours, you know, not bad, so just reapply as the day goes by. 
but with a lot of these heavier notes like that pink pepper, the nutmeg, the incense, and the different woods because you're going to get the patchouli, the vetiver, the birch, and so on. I just thought it was going to get anywhere from like seven, eight. In price tag, retail at the Hudson's Bay, this goes anywhere from like $100 to $147, I believe. So that's Canadian, convert that. That's like 75 to like 110, 120 USD. But online, you know, I've seen this on FragranceNet for $77 Canadian. I've seen it on PerfumeOnline.ca for 70 and I believe, I forget the other one. It might have been FragranceCanada.ca, I can't remember. Anyhow, it ranged anywhere from $69 to $77 Canadian. So you convert that, $69, that's like $58. USD. In my opinion, that's great value. And gentlemen, that is my re-review of Givenchy Gentlemen Only. For you to really pull this one off, you gotta be that gentleman. But you can be a bad boy at the same time. But a bad boy like James Bond. James Bond is bad boy, but he does have that gentleman side. This is not for your bad boy, frat boy type of guys. Not for you guys who cusses and all that kind of stuff. Gentlemen. All right, so any other videos that I've done from this brand, they will all be down in the description box below. And because that this is a re-review, if you wanna see the, the initial one that I did, why don't you check out this corner here and whatever pops up right here. I thank you for time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.